Welcome back to another Short Circuit Chair Unboxing. Today we're talking about Razer's new Anki Chair, which they're releasing to join the ranks of the Isker that they have. People that are watching this video are probably wondering, why another chair? Why are they doing another chair? Well, this one is kind of designed for everybody in mind, right? This is supposed to be a chair that you can sit in all day and still be comfortable. So that's kind of the market that they're targeting. Also, they have two variants of this chair, the Anki and the Anki X. And the Anki X is actually gonna be, I believe $299, whereas the Anki is $399. Oh, I always love these warning labels. I need to surf the chair. Who would do that? Do not touch the backrest recline lever while installing or moving the backrest. Glad we're reading the instructions here. Is this for us or just for everybody that gets these chairs? Builder's gauntlets. I got the builder's gauntlets, everybody. Protect your Razor gear today. Get a peace of mind with the Razor protection plan. So uh, this chair comes with a three year warranty and the instructions are right here. This is already looking a lot different than the Isker, even at this point. Bottom. I feel so cool with these gloves, man. Memory foam headrest pillow. This one's shaped a little differently. That's a bunch of accessories. I mean, one thing about doing all of these chair short circuit videos is I'm starting to get like really good at building chairs. This is where the instructions just go out the window. I'm just gonna open it up here. Oh boy, is that Razor stickers? Talks about the three-year warranty. I can't open it with these gauntlets. I will say with the accessories, I do like the way that they've kind of laid everything out. Like everything's right in front of you as far as I can tell, which is cool. So like a lot of chairs, they've got uh, 60 millimeter PU casters for the bottom of your chair. Do I take the gloves off? I feel like I can't take the gloves off, but it's so hard to open the plastic. And lastly, but not leastly, oh, that's a chonker. I like it. We're gonna start by attaching the base to the backrest of the chair. It's exciting stuff. This is content. So these screws are just pre-installed. Just need to take them out and actually put them on and we'll be good to go. This is where I'm, I'm taking the gloves off. Oh, I can't take the gloves off. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, water from my favorite lttstore.com water bottle. User error. What have I done? I think I crossed the right of the screw. I'm trying to do all of the screws at once. Bad idea. I take back everything I said about me being good at building chairs. I do like the included tool. Pretty standard practice though. There's a lot of chairs that come with these kinds of tools. Now it's time to put on these covers, super easy. Slot that in and put the screw in and you just put a little cover on it and you're good. Now we're gonna install the base. Screws are all pre screws, so we're just gonna take them out. Do not touch the mechanism when tilting. I'm glad they have that there to reiterate that. Hey, there it is. So Razor's got instructions. This goes towards the front, that's awesome. Honestly, there's probably a better way I could do this, but I'm just gonna use my foot to brace it. Make sure all the screws are snug. So the whole chair itself is a steel frame construction and then I believe this is an aluminum base. We're just gonna put the casters on. Hello. Look, I don't know if these things are just difficult to install or if I'm just weak. David. There you go. Expecting to go deeper than that? I, Wait, is that not in? I don't know. Who would have thought the casters would cause us trouble? You just put them in. At this point, we're just gonna put all the wheels in about the same spot and just hope for the best. All right, that feels about right. That feels good to me. Pretty straightforward. Bada bing, bada boom. Very standard on these types of chairs. Booyah! That's a chair. Now that the chair is built, all we gotta do is just sit in it and take it for a ride. Right after a word from our sponsor, Jackery. Thanks to Jackery for sponsoring today's short circuit. Their Explorer 1500 portable power station has enough juice to keep all your devices powered and connected. Its huge 1500 watt hour capacity and 1800 watt output rate allows for up to seven devices plugged in simultaneously, and it only takes four hours to recharge from zero up to 80%. Check out the Explorer 1500, the link below, and use code Linus Tech Tips to get 10% off. I have one last thing I need to do before we sit in this chair, Brandon. The sticker. Actually, this is almost like it was intended. Razor, if you want to hire me to be a designer, I, I could apply. Take it for a ride here. Boop. Oh yeah, not bad. There's a few cool things about this chair that I'd like to point out right now, now that I'm sitting in it. First off is that it has a wider seat base than it does for the back here. And as you can tell, it has this kind of sloped arch at your shoulder height, or what would be your shoulder height if you're a little bit taller than me. There we go, or if I sat straight. The idea behind this kind of arch and the wider seat base is it's supposed to kind of centralize your weight. So just even your weight distribution across the entire chair. Another interesting thing that you can't see on camera, but I'm feeling right now, is that the back is definitely pretty stiff but that's good because I feel like my back is actually being held and properly supported, while the base is actually 
relatively comfy, like it's cushy. You can even see that the base is thicker because they put more kind of cushion and padding on the base to support you. I weigh about 157 pounds. Razer says this chair is supported for people up to 300 pounds. And who knows if in the future they'll do what they did with the Isker and kind of release a separate variant for different frames and, and different uh, weights. Let me do the good old uh, caster test. Hold on, I'm gonna start over here. Not bad. Not the best I've ever seen, but this chair also costs, you know, less than $500. So one of the biggest differences between the Anki and the Isker from the moment that I first saw this chair is the lumbar support system. If you remember, the Isker had a really unique way of dealing with adjusting lumbar and turning knobs stuff to adjust the kind of different feel on your back. But this is all built in, which I assume is probably for cost savings, but it's respectable and it does well for a chair of this price point. So I think I mentioned earlier that there is going to be the Anki and the Anki X. Differences between those two are that the Anki X does not come with this head pillow. The Anki X also doesn't have four dimensional armrest adjustability like the regular Anki that we have here does. And the last big difference between the Anki and the Anki X is the system for which it handles recline. So the Anki here has your 152 degree tilt, has a frog system, which like a frog, you know, while the Anki X has a traditional butterfly system. Another notable thing about these chairs, they come in different colors. So they come in green, quartz, and black, I believe. I mean, it's a Razer gaming chair designed for everyday comfort, so we need to game in the thing. So we're actually gonna bring a few people on to do that. We're bringing Jeff to the table here. And that's because Jeff bought the Razer Isker chair that we unboxed before. Take this one for a ride, get, get it adjusted, get it dialed in, play some uh, Counter-Strike. Good old Counter-Strike. Just the, uh, the lumbar, is there a lumbar in it? There is lumbar in it and there's no adjusting That's it. That's it. That's it. How does this thing feel? How's your back? How's like your, your posture? How do you feel? Feels good. It feels almost exactly the same as how I usually have the Razer Isker set up at home. It's not like too, too, pressed up against my lower spine. The neck pillow is kind of nice though. I think you I like, like the neck pillow. I like it more. It's actually bigger than a lot of neck pillows, which is interesting. I think I interesting. appreciate that. I think I appreciate it. I didn't actually think about that before, but the different shape of the head pillow and the way that it sits, I mean, it kind of rests on the top of your back, which I could see actually being kind of nice rather than just having this like giant thing jamming into the back of your head. How does the base feel? How do you feel sitting on it? Does it feel pretty comfy? I feel it's actually the same. Maybe it's a little stiffer on this guy here. The idea behind the Razer Isker is the back is actually supposed to be a little bit more stiff, where the base actually has more cushion. It's supposed to kind of just more evenly distribute your weight. Okay. But coming from the Isker, like, yeah, it's gonna be tough to tell these things, especially when you only sat on it for like five seconds. Yeah, cool. Whoa, bud. I thought you were gonna fall for a second. <laughs> <laughs> David, you're next, bud. Well, this is... What do you think? It's not ugly. I would definitely get rid of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but then it's ugly under here. No, it looks so cheap. Yo, this like... is supposed to this is supposed to, to provide better back support, okay? I think like, this... that looks good. The quilted stuff looks good. This chair retails for $399, and there's another variant that's pretty similar that's $299. That's not bad. What do you have at home? What do you sit on at home? I have a chair. I have like a really cheap chair. The adjustability is okay for yep. a chair that's cheap. I like I like being able to go back, uh, especially if I'm playing more chill games. I can kind of and kind of lounge. This. Yep. Yeah, have like my feet up. The cushion is kind of not super there. So if you want like a cushy chair, this isn't great. I'm actually really impressed at how much control you have over the placement of the armrest. For a cheap chair, this is like actually pretty cool. It's an okay chair. I wouldn't buy it, <laughs> but yeah. it's not bad. But I wouldn't buy a gaming chair. I'd buy an ergo chair anyway. Fair. Oh, give me that. Yeah, give me that back. Look, some people, some people like that. That's it for the Razer Anki. You know, this chair for its price category, if you're looking at other chairs, include it. I don't think it's anything super fantastic. The Isker was so exciting because it was the first chair from Razer, had its custom lumbar support system, but I honestly think Razer's gonna sell more of this chair anyway. So yeah, if you're interested, check it out, the link below. You can learn more about it. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to get subscribed to Short Circuit. Comment down below what other chairs you'd like to see and we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.